do something a little different today. Would you mind coming in? No, okay, yeah, let's do this. Come on in. I'm going to actually have you help me. Doesn't need to be anything crazy, does it? No. Okay. My name is Dee Dee Croy. Every pet deserves a groom. I'm here to get the job done and give your pet that opportunity. So I'm actually trade places with you. So you'll come. Oh, see here. Uh, something like that, and then just uh, you'll just help me guide. Okay. You'll just help guide because you love her, right? Yeah. 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 The pet parent is the best advocate for their pet. They feed the pet. They love the pet. They're with the pet, they put the pet down, they make the ultimate choices for their pet. Why not bring in the pet parent? And because uh, winter is winter, but winter is supposed to be here a week ago or whatever, and it got cold and then it got really hot again. So we'll, I won't take it all down, y'all. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? No, that's fine. Whatever we, I just feel like whatever we can get done, we can get done, right? Hey, girl. Hey, you ready? Okay. okay, um she hates the face and her bum bum and her feet. Right. So at that point you may hold more of the head. Okay, okay. okay. Just tell her do I need to just um, stand here now? Yep, you're just you're gonna actually help her because she's okay. real fragile. So you're yeah. gonna come in here. That's good okay. there. And I'm worried about her, okay? That's good there. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. It's okay, baby. Mama's got you. <gasps> For her health reasons, she's gotta be groomed. They they don't want it. They just wanna be left alone and let them eat and drink their water and Get love done and that's it. I've been grooming Abby for nearly 17 years. I think mom says over 17 years. I can't imagine that. I've been grooming for over 18 years. So to be able to groom her till the end of her life and her sister who's already passed away until the end of her life. It's been an honor. It was a little while ago, Abby fell off the bed. A year or two. Ever since then, she was not the same. Her body was twisted. Her spinal cord just twisted, tweaked. Walks a little different. Arches a little different. And that's why you see here now her bum is literally underneath her as she's trying to stand and sit and do all these things. Once you become older, even with us humans, everything starts to look different, doesn't it? Okay. Up here, okay. I'm gonna kind of give her, there you go, give her some assistance here. You may not get it, but a dog of this age, over 17 years old, you're not going to want to fluff dry and pamper dry and blow dry and do all these things for a couple hours ever when they get that age. You are going to want in and outs. You're going to want things faster even faster than they already were before. You're not gonna have the same kind of grooming. It's not gonna look the same. You're not gonna have the flexibility in the animal or the time or the, it's gonna be too delicate of a situation to do hand scissoring and all these foo-foo things that really take time. And prep, coat prep, prepping the coat for such work. All that coat prep isn't a few minutes. We're in and out of here in 30 minutes or less. That's what I think should happen when a dog is this age. Is, her, is she walking around at home at all? Yeah. She seems really like she wouldn't like she wouldn't be walking around very much. She's not walking. I mean, she doesn't walk a lot. Okay. She still walks, but I'm, I'm getting a little worried. Oh yeah. 
Because when she walks, you see how her back is right like that? Right. So the, I was wondering, does she drag her butt yet or anything like that? No. Does she fall down? Does yeah. she fall over a lot? Yeah. Okay. She, um, but I've got wood floors, right? Right. So, like, I, so are you, are you right wondering if that's it or if that's not it? it? I don't, I don't okay. Know. You know what I mean? Yeah. I probably am in denial. You gotta film me here. I'm coming to buy the time right now. It's just hard. She's getting old and. I just know that I really feel like my time is limited, so I just want to do what's best for her and, um, you know, make, make the last little, you know, life of, of her life better. Good. I mean, she's spoiled rotten, you know. Why have one if you're not going to spoil them, you know? So, right, Carly? Listen, it comes down to, in my opinion, right? Um, how a dog is at the groom salon, what I record, and what happens at home are two different things. True. So I don't like it when people act like they know it all, because they don't. No. And a dog will be a physis dog coconut. She lived till like 20 something years old, girl. She would come in rah, freaking out, half mostly blind, going deaf. I mean, just every little thing you can imagine is happening. I have her like, it's not gonna be pretty. I need to get no baby no I need to get in here I'm so sorry but I need to get in here <laughs> 20 something years and when they go home of course is there signs well yeah there's signs when we want to pass out and die too yeah so there's signs that the dog's not doing well but then all of a sudden it's like oh, yeah, jumping around like are you good old dandy like like there's a couple of days a week man she's acts like she's you know, Fine. A spring chicken, you know? Right. So that's still happening, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and so you're going to go. She sleeps a lot. She... And old dogs will. Yeah. Well, she can not contribute. Yeah, we do too. When someone's retired and they're not doing very much, aren't they watching TV all day long and hardly yeah. even freaking working out anymore? Yeah. Body starts losing yeah. their muscle. So you have to look at everything. So the decisions that you make are not based off of the groom. Sometimes folks watch a video and they think it looks bad, but they're not there and they are not the owner of the dog. I'm gonna tell you, like I've told many people, a video is a video and nobody is gonna tell me or my client when to put their dog down because they are not the owner and I wouldn't think it would be fair for an outsider to look in on a situation less than 35 minutes long and tell that owner exactly what to do with their children, their dogs, their husband, their wife, when they know nothing of real life in that life of the animal. No one's gonna tell me when to put my dog down. And I don't think anyone should tell you when to put your dog down. The best advocate for that that pet is the pet parent. And in that, the pet parent has the right to make choices for his or her property. And in this case, it happens to be her Shih Tzu. Oh, 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 yeah, you don't like that. Okay, okay, oh my goodness. Come on here, let me see here, let me see, let me see. Oh, okay, hold on. You don't want me to get to feed. Do you see her pulling yeah. her feet back? She's yeah. so smart. She knows, right? Old or not old, she's, she knows what she's doing. I'm telling you. Am I good on that? Yeah, we just work around everything. I have to say, this makes me feel better. Really? Uh-huh. 
in part. What do you mean? Just being here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is your first time ever. Uh, I pulled uh -huh. you in here. Uh -huh. uh, we were talking about it, and I felt like this is a good time to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're getting older, and um, you usually don't get to see it. And, no, I don't. Uh, I've but never but seen it. we record everything. Don't, yeah. Not like that. No. But she doesn't um, sit in the lobby, so she doesn't watch the TV. But she also doesn't um, partake. So some dogs, I, I say it's time to get the owner in, and so we get you in, and I'd rather do it this way. This is my, oh, don't bite me. <laughs> I'd rather um, do it this way than. Yeah, I agree. The, the latter, so we're at a different stage now. Yeah. Right, yeah. Are you gonna let me do all that other stuff I need to do? Mm -hmm. I know. Uh, I know. Okay, let me see. Now I can hear some of y'all out there trying to tell me that this dog does not need me to groom her face. You're wrong. If I don't groom her face, it's going to be doubled up worse next month and then the month after, and then it's going to be a really bad day. There's so much eye gunk in this area here on both eyes every month. If I skipped it, because she wasn't hand to hand having it for just a moment, if I just skipped it, it would be really, really bad in a couple months. You're wrong. We have to do this grooming. This grooming, cleaning the eyes, the sanitary, the bum bum, all of that is just to keep her hygiene up to par. You know what I mean? Let me know if you need a break. Mm -hmm. okay. Didi always cares about the client. You guys remember that one guy where she would wipe that, the sweat off of his forehead? What about me? I need a break. I think I'm trying my average in my mind is like a good 15, 25 minutes, not even 30 anymore. I'm just like whipping around. Because I'll be honest with you, when, being a groomer was great towards the end of life for my Shih Tzus, and I'll tell you what, there was this time for it, like this, they're in a tough place and you don't want to push them overboard, you know. Pushing them overboard, what does that mean? Like, you push their limit so they go home that day worse than they were when they yeah, started, started yeah. and they're trying to recover, rest, repair, but she it was too hard on their heart. Yeah. She won't. Usually she's okay, thank goodness. Right, right, right. But I don't think her body wants or needs to do the one hour thing anymore. And I don't think it can, I don't want to do it two no. hour, you know? I think that's way too long. Yeah, yeah right? right? Yeah. Right? It's too much stress on him. Oh, 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 I almost got all that stuff. Oh. You. oh, you're using your arms on me, huh? You know what to do. No, no, let me say. Let me say. Let me say. I know you don't like it. Let's go. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. There's absolutely no abuse whatsoever. You're, you're not. It, she's, you know as well as I do, she's been the craziest dog to try to groom since she was six weeks old. Okay. Because I have to get all that around her eyes out, in my opinion. Okay, hold on, let me try something. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. I know you're trying to tell me what to do. I know that. Yeah, I do know that. Yep. Yeah. Stop. Let me see. Let me see. Gotcha. Yeah, she'd be telling me what to do with her arms and her mouth. There are some people, no matter what age, that constantly tell you what to do. Do you know who I'm talking about? Exactly. You bossy, huh? 
Let me see. Let me see in that. Good girl. Good girl. Where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, don't do that, don't do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't see. <laughs> can't see them. Move your tongue. Gosh, it's so long. You have I such know. a long tongue, man. My son in law calls her tongue from? all the time. I... Where did it come from? Did it get longer over the years, you feel like? No. It she's was always, always had that. a long tongue. No kidding. Mm -hmm. How come I haven't noticed it like that? Well, well she now. hangs it out more these now. days, I mm -hmm. think, than mm -hmm. she did. That shadow scared you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that scared you. You like mom here a little bit? Yeah, you're being pretty nice. Yeah, you are. You're being pretty nice. Can I get in here? Let me see. Let me see. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Yeah. Close your eyes. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, look at that. Did I get some of that? I know. We'll put all that hair there anyway, huh? Let me see. Good girl. Good girl. Hold on. Hold on. See, she likes you. Just she just doesn't want you to cut her. I guess. I don't think she wants the scissors or clippers around her ever. 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 Me or anyone else. You know, one once once Dave even tried to cut her or cut her face. You know, Dave's a big guy. He almost lost his hand. I think. Oh my she god. Don't, yeah. You know, he she just he just kind of tried right there by those. She wouldn't go. She goes right up and went no, 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 no. I'll still, I'll still. Don't bite. I don't know if you can not really have any teeth. She's got enough in there. Mm-hmm. She's got enough in there to chew. But she still has teeth. And if those teeth have really bad bacteria on it, I'm going to tell you right now, if she bites me or anybody else, it could be a bad day. Bad bacteria can cause a serious infection, which can lead to amputation. And I am not wanting to lose my hand or arm today. Put your foot down. Put your foot down. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, I know the tripod is making a lot of noise. I'm going to fix it. Hey, I'm going that good job. Yeah, I got all that stuff out of there. Look up, look up, look up. Don't worry about me. Don't do it, don't. Don't do it. Yes, I got that. Yes, I did. Get that out of there. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, I did. I got that too. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Let me see if I can pluck that out a little bit more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're okay. I'm sorry. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see here. Can I? I know those shadows suck, don't they? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. I'm so sorry. Can you close that eye? Close that eye. Close that eye. Oh, yeah. Hmm? No? Hold on. Okay, we're working on something else. We're working on something else. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. 
Hold on. Heavy, 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 heavy. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Get all this up here. Don't lick it back in there. It's okay. Don't lick it up in there. Don't lick it back in there. Hold on. Put your foot down. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no. No, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't do that. It's okay. You're okay. Come here. Don't do that. I oh, know it's tough. Did you just lick it back all in there? Oh, did you lick it back in there? Did you lick that in there? We don't want that. No. Just a moment. Just a moment. Just a moment. There we go. There it goes. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Can I see here? I know you don't like it. I know it. I know. Are you done with me now? Don't bite. Don't bite. No bite. Do the fight and wait till she breathes just to watch her esophagus. So, really focus your fingers. You could do it with four fingers one, two, three, four like your two thumbs, two. Fingers. Yep, yep, and focus more on her skull. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna let her rest a second and I'm gonna shave out her eyes. That's all I'm doing here. Okay. She'll fight, 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 and then rest. I'll wait for the rest. Oh, oh, oh. Don't do that. Okay, rest. Mom, let go. It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. You can help her stand. Let her just stand. Stand up, stand up. Stand up. Stay. Good girl. You're all right. It's okay. I'm just got you. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, hold there. Hold there. Good. Tight hold there. Yep. Okay. Let's try this. She has such a hard time standing alone. Okay. Really pushing into you. I'm going to really push on okay. you. I'm going to tell you right now, you cannot scissor out eye gunk. It's super dangerous. And if there happens to be a flap or a fold around the eye and you go into scissor and you cut that fold, you are really going to regret it. So we've got to use these clippers as best as we can to try to get this stuff all out. Otherwise, it'll be really bad later. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. I know, I know, I know. I got you. It's going to be okay. You got you to have a haircut. You got to have a haircut. You gotta have a haircut. You can't go around looking all crazy. Okay, Gretch, you can hold her though still. Uh, so don't let her like free fall, let her stand there like that. Look at her face and tell me, is that fine? All this cleaned up? Yes. Yeah, right, fine. that's fine. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, that was a really great experience for her. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit more, so just hold her here. Okay. Um, get, hold her like right here. Okay. Towards you, and just kind of that way you can talk to her and love on her. I'm gonna do a feet real quick. Hey.
here. Hold still. Just hold still. Come on, come on. Just well, this, is this too big for you now? There you go. There oh, you go. look at Dad. No, you sit like a big bull. You sit like a big bull. Like a big bull. Is that good? surgical technician now passing all these tools around like what am I add that one to the resume today okay yes, i'll see you next right. month mm -hmm. yes yeah i like that i like that a lot okay i've been grooming miss abby for nearly 17 years mom says a little longer than that her whole life she said i actually can't even believe i've been grooming this long it's nearly 20 years wow i hope that you see when i've been grooming or you maybe been grooming as long as I have the same client, it is an honor. They could have gone somewhere else all these years. This pet parent actually had her whole family in with me at some point. Her daughter's dogs, her son's dogs. We, I, I groomed everybody in the family. And slowly they started gr going to college, graduating college and moving out and about, getting married, having families of their own and not being in the area. But it is a true pleasure to me to be able to groom a dog for so long. Abby used to have a sister named Emma and I groomed them both. Wow, Emma had a lot of things happen in her health towards the end of her life. 
Abby gave her pet parents a really long life. Over 17 years old, how lucky can you get? Our dogs will want to hold on to every ounce of life that they can just to be next to you. And I hope you see that in the animals you own, because I have seen it in the animals I own and I love and the ones I've groomed. They'll treasure every second with you and they will do anything in their power to stay right by you. Abby has become fragile, soft, upset at certain things with grooming, but who else isn't upset at her age? The body starts to endure some pain and she shares that with us. She's been a challenge to groom most of her life anyway, but she really was a pretty good groom dog for most of the time. As she's gotten older and she fell off the bed with the back injury, sleeps more, I can tell by her remarks today that she's losing some vision, I bet some hearing is going away too. You can't plan for it all. You can't plan for it all in your human life, let alone foresee what could happen to your senior pet. But what we can do is work together and try to give the pet the best hygienic groom as possible. And in this case, like many other cases, I will bring in a pet parent. I would rather bring in the pet parent when I know that my staff and I cannot get it done and they've become more fragile. So the pet parent can be there to make a call and a decision to either stop or continue when it's past my judgment. What does that mean? Well, I'm not perfect and I don't think you are either. So why not have the, the pet's advocate, the best advocate for that pet, the owner, the one person or the people who love the dog the most in the same room making judgment calls about their pet? By golly, my favorite phrase, by golly, they're the paying client. We just need to be more understanding and allow that. If a groomer can sit down with you and discuss these things with you and help make choices for your pet safety and wellness and future grooms and how it could change, we'll skip a few things now and then as the pet gets older, but can you come in sooner? Ah, she can't get the exercise she needs because she can't even walk. So what do you do, give up? No, you rearrange your schedule. You might have to rearrange your bedroom so your dog doesn't fall off the bed a second and third and fourth time. I'm gonna tell you a back injury on a dog, cause I had one that had the same injury. They wanna sleep with you and I get it. You want them to sleep with you too. But if your bed is too high and it's too dangerous, I'm gonna give you a warning right now. If your Shih Tzu's five, six, seven years old, it's about between the seven year and 10 year mark where that Shih Tzu might fall off the bed. And if that might be the case, because your bed's too high and you think it ain't going to happen, it's going to happen. I'm going to tell you to prepare for it. Go ahead and switch out your bed now or build or have someone build a few hundred dollar platform around your bed so there's no falls. A lot of women fall in our older years too. Maybe then it'll prevent you from falling as well. But if you fall, you're bound to break something. And our, our furry loved ones, if they break something, it's a bad day. And we watch and see it unfold and it's heartbreaking. So be sure you look out for your furry critters at home, your furry family members, because that's all they want to do. Innocently enough, they want to be with you as long as possible. I hope you can see that changing the way we groom Abby, short spurt every single month, it's a must. It's a must until her end of life. And I hope that I continue to be here for them. I'm sure I will. I really appreciate you watching and I hope you know the value your animals bring to you and your life. I hope you can see it in the way we groom those senior pets and disabled pets that come through. And if your dog's getting old and you don't have a groomer that you can count on, my goodness, come on down to Texas for the last couple years of your dog's life and we'll make sure we get those grooms done. I had to throw it in there. You know, this season is a new type of filming for us and I hope you enjoyed yourself and had a blast. If you really loved the show, make sure you go back and watch them all. 
so we can continue providing you with what you love the most here at My Favorite Groomer. We'll see you later and thanks for watching.